need to do like a DLC or something where you can go back into the Dwarven past. Actually, they need to do that for Elder Scrolls as well. Guess about there. Oh, that's a good fireball hit. Oh, we haven't got too much further to go, right? This feels very windy. Oh, Ogre Alpha, so he's a big one. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, he's backhanded Shale down and he's... Ow, knocked me down too. Ooh. I'm still stuck on the female dwarf part. So I take it that the Swamp Witch and the Grey Warden are, um, intimate? I am hoping that is not a reference to Alistair. Because it believes I am an oblivious moron. What up, Shay Shay? Oh, ho, ho. It does <laughs> like to laugh, does it? Yes, it does. It knows. Onto the map, onto Kadash Taig. Shale has dim memories of a bustling dwarven taig nestled somewhere amongst the deep roads. Well, that's where we're going. He's out the rest of Shale's origins. Talk to you about it? Oh. No. Dave. Spawn are here. Alrighty. Um maybe I'll get Morrigan to fireball about there. I will activate blood magic. Oops, I turned off blood magic. Well that was dumb. <laughs> for the shrieks. There we go. Oh, and there's one sneaky one behind us. Oh. Nailed it. Okay. Nothing down this way. Okay, through the weird busted hall away we go. You can really see how the Darkspawn have made a mess of this place down here. These Dwarven cities would have been glorious back in the day. You need to do like a DLC or something where you can go back into the Dwarven past. Actually, they need to do that for Elder Scrolls as well. Oh, cinematic. This is it. Kadash Taig. How do you know that? I do not know. It is an odd thing to experience. These ruins are always overrun by vermin. There may be something noteworthy further in, however. Rock nipples! <laughs> Was this the home once? Did I live here? I know. There's a lot of darkspawn down here, though. All right, um... Do our usual tricks. Oregon, why don't you do a fireball about there? Oh, that guy got absolutely pwned. <laughs> oh, Bronto on the way. And, oh, is that an emissary? Nope, that's just a herlock. Okay. No problems. I'm going to go fight the dinosaur. We can take the hits. Easy. Throws him and knocked him down. Yes. That bear, that bear does do some good hits. Good job, loof nugget. Um, nope. Alright, this way. Okay, we 
still... Oh, that looks like an emissary. All right, so let's aim about there. This emissary's a bad and coy. Oregon, we might need you to fireball... I guess about there. Oh, that's a good fireball hit. Leanna's talking smack. Good job. <laughs> We're getting lots of little, um, lots of little loot pickups. Oh, auto save. If something's going to happen when there's an auto save. Whatever was once here is gone. Whatever was once here is gone. Well. There's a lot of, de of deep stalkers here. What don't we do? Oh, Morrigan, I want you to fireball all of that, please. I will... Some light magic. Oh, I've stepped on a trap. Many traps. There's more of these things popping up out of the ground. Down. Crap, right ahead. Okay, All is well? well? Yes, of course. You get that? Any other traps? No, we've got all the traps, okay. Pile of junk. Pick up a piece of junk. More deep stalkers. Are they gonna go fight more dark spawn? Nothing super interesting yet. From a tig that's completely been wrecked by the dark spawn. Another bunch of you lot. Let's do that about there. They're not scaring anyone, shut up. Oh, knock them down. Ooh. Liana, can you open this? Yes, you can. And you on this way, right? Oh, and there's more. Man, these things are annoying. Especially when they stun. They stun them back. Come on, this is getting ridiculous. Oh, the Deep Stalker leader. Okay, is that a tougher one? I tried to be oh, he stunned him. <laughs> okay, done. No more? Well, for now, anyway. Wanting some answers. Crawling with filth. Typical. Yep. Whoa, that's a whole bunch of stealthy sounds. Well, let's do a blood wound about there. Oregon, maybe I'll get you to fireball, like, I don't know, there ish. Yep. I'll go and hit these ones. Guys are protecting back there. Yes. Oh no, I'm snagged. Don't run away. It's annoying when you run away. This one 
something still up. There we go. Oh, I hear you all. I can hear you all. There we go. And there's an alpha. Cool. What have we got in here? It's a shield. Plain old shield. And a silver chalice that we will just pawn off somewhere. <laughs> oh, we haven't got too much further to go, right? This feels very windy. Very labyrinthy windy. More dark spawn. This one before it causes too much trouble. And the Alpha. Oh yes, go for the Alpha. Come back here, you bugger. Another one of these. I love Blood Wound. It's such a great spell. Blood magic for the win. As well as an optimized party. Okay. Continue up the hill, I guess. Save. Always be saving. I'm uncertain what I hope to find here. That's okay. We will find it together, Shale. Oh, auto save. the weird busted guilty bridge that must have been massive once upon a time oh there's an ogre and some strange crystals all right oh ogre alpha so he's a big one cool let's try and get all the aggro we can off him Come and get it. Oh, he's... <laughs> oh, I was going to say, he's backhanded Shale down and he's... Ow, knock me down too. Come on, get up, get up, get up. I need to sap some health from someone. Morrigan looks like a good target. There we go. Come on, Floof Nugget Bear, get him. Ow. Time to be crushed. Yes, listen to Shale. to be crushed. There we go, he's down. Okay. More crystals, more crystals. Brilliant crystals, they're gonna be um What is this? Good ones. This, this I remember. A monument? It, it has dates and names. This is to honor those who volunteered, those who became columns. And there is my name. Shale of House Kadash. <laughs> I recognize it. I was not created as I am now. I was once a creature of living flesh, a dwarf and a woman. This is a revelation. They yeah, told you I thought Shale was a woman. Ooh. I'm still stuck on the female dwarf part. It is something. It is an answer. Though still I wish I had been able to speak with Caradin. I will need to think on these things I have learned. Perhaps I will speak to it of them soon. For now, let us carry on as we have. It speaks. Um... I didn't mean to. Never mind. Okay... Achievement unlocked, Shale approved by a lot, quest completed, okay, so that's good. Now we've been ambushed by a bunch of shrieks in the meantime. Okay, well, we shall use some good old blood magic, there we go. Oh, and the floofy bear is here, and they're all down, okay. 
Cool. Big broken chest. Head tied shanker. Sounds like a cool, uh, cool dagger of some kind. All right, so we're done here now, right? Mission accomplished. Do a full save. Venture forth. Um. Oh. I go to camp. We need to go all the way back to Orzammar and then to party camp, I guess. No other world events, it seems. I uh, don't think I can fast travel from here. No, we can't. So now this is where I need that haste spell that was mentioned earlier. We'll get there. Yes, lots of little side stories tonight. No heavy plot tonight. If I can get enough of it ticked off, we could do some heavy plot tomorrow. So I take it that the Swamp Witch and the Grey Warden are, um, intimate? I am hoping that is not a reference to Alistair. Because it believes I am an oblivious moron. Anything is possible. As to the original question, is there a reason you ask? I am simply curious as to whether or not it bewitched the Grey Warden. <laughs> I have no need to force anything from men. Oh, my apologies then. I was about to offer my congratulations for a task accomplished. And not intended as a backhanded compliment at all, yes? Not at all. I'm the soul of politeness. <laughs> oh, the banter is always good. All right, cool. Now let's go to party camp. Talk to Shale some more. All right, save, talk to Shale, and see what happens next. What up, Shay Shay? It speaks. I would have expected golems to be... Yeah, different. Different? Different than what? Different than a statue? Different than a log? Should I talk in a monotone? Yes, master, I exist to serve the master. I shall kill for the master and only for the master. Perhaps it expected me to have a booming voice. Recite limericks. Boom. <laughs> I can recite limericks if it likes. <laughs> Are they dirty limericks? Mostly they involve slaughtering pigeons in creative and invasive manners. <laughs> I have never met another golem. I have no idea what one might be like or why I wouldn't be like them. Why? Has it met other golems? Did they not sound as I do? Oh, well, other than Caradon, they didn't speak. And now there shall be no more. Hmm. I suppose it is for the best. I don't know what kind of dwarf I was, but as a golem, I am superior in every way. <laughs> so there is no loss, surely. Well, I agree. Being a golem would be handy. Imagine the benefits. No need to eat or sleep or perform other functions. Walk <laughs> underwater, crush the heads of every opponent. The possibilities are limitless. Barring the occasional 30 years or so of paralysis, there's little to compare. Now stop talking so much. The wagging of its moist little tongue is distracting. <laughs> oh, Shale likes that. This is our current rating with Shale anyway. Oh, it's high, not super high. It speaks. Right, um... I have some questions. It doesn't have better things to do. It does not. Um, although I've been equipping them, are those crystals in your skin? I like to think of them as accessories. But what do they do? I suspect that it is an art that was practiced when golems were more, um, commonplace. My former master collected whatever lore he could find on the subject. He searched far and wide to collect what crystals he could and then added them. It is not an unpleasant sensation. Okay, that still doesn't really explain much. As I understand it, the crystals allow me to alter the flow of magic around me. Wilhelm had hoped to turn me into a battery of mana, something he could tap uh -huh. at will. And did he succeed? Not really. Although now that I think of it, these attempts may be what caused my disruption. 
Some of the crystals increase the presence of mana, some absorb or reflect spells. There are various kinds. All I can promise is that should it ever find one of these crystals, I can likely tell it the function and what it would do if added to me. So you'd be willing to have more added? Why not? I don't get to wear clothing and other adornments like the rest of you creatures after all. That answers its question, I assume. It does. Unless it has more. Well, I have been gearing you with crystals for a while, so I should have known that. <laughs> well, Shail, I'm told you killed your former master. Did I not already tell it that I do not remember doing such? I remember having a master. My memories of what happened to him are vague. Vague? But not existent, right? Clever and true. Mm -hmm. Oh, very well. Let me see what I can recall. My former master enjoyed experimenting upon me. I remember that much. There was tinkering with spells and then the crystals. He was very eager to alter my function, I think. What sorts of experiments, though? Bah! I am no mage, and he did not explain himself to me any more than it would explain itself to a sword. He possessed my control rod, and back then, it would have prevented me from doing anything he did not command me to, no matter how I might have wished to. So what happened? I am unsure. He was experimenting, and then... nothing. So he hit the, <laughs> so he hit the kill me button by accident, then? Oh, ho, ho. It does <laughs> like to laugh, does it? Yes, it does. Who knows? I may have such a thing. And then he was gone. I was standing where I was, in the village, and I could no longer move. The villagers came, poked and prodded me in fear, and then realized they could neither move me nor destroy me. So they simply left me. And in time, I forgot I hadn't stood there all along. Well, that must have been terrible. I am sorry for that. <sighs> in fact, at first, I found it more of a relief. For so many years, I'd had to leap to that little toadstool's every command. Get this, pick up that, put it down, pick it up again. The gall! At first, I'd hoped he'd simply decided to leave me there paralyzed. An acceptable trade-off. After years passed, I simply stopped caring. Hmm, so it could happen again then, maybe? Frightened by the prospect, is it? It should be. <laughs> Whatever the mage did seemed to render the control rod useless. For which I should be thankful, yes? And provided it doesn't decide to copy his experiments, not that I would allow it, it is nothing to fear from me. Much. <laughs> oh, sounds good to me. The things that it fights, and it fights things often, that is a different story. Let us get back to the walking and the fighting. My stone is beginning to itch again. Kyle does love doing the fighting and doing the squishing. Especially... Of birds. It speaks. More questions. It doesn't have better things to do. No, it does not. How did you end up in Honleith anyway? Do you remember that? Oh yes, that I remember quite well. My former master, the mage Wilhelm, he brought me. As mm -hmm. I recall, he had acquired some position with whatever lord ruled the land. I, being little more than a glorified possession at the time, was brought along. Oh, how he enjoyed impressing the villagers with me. Gollum, snarl at that villager there. Be fearsome. And of course, I would have to do it. Mm. <sighs> but I would have thought you'd enjoy scaring the humans. I'd have happily stomped them all into paste. And then ripped down their little houses and stomped on them, too. Oh. In fact, after 30 years of watching them, I'd do it twice. What I didn't <laughs> like was being ordered to do it dangled in front of those frightened morons like some scary thing. Once I was a statue, it took those villagers years before they'd even approach me. The first one to actually work up the nerve to touch me urinated himself. <laughs> uh. Well, you didn't like this Wilhelm, I take it. He did love using that control rod. Fondled it so much, his wife actually threatened to throw it in the lake. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen that. Which reminds me, where did it find the rod? Did it pay a great deal for it? Uh, not really. It was... <laughs> well, hang on. I think... 
Wilhelm, yeah, okay. Um, Wilhelm's wife sold it, I believe. Hag. But why were you out in front of the tower? That is where Wilhelm kept me. He wanted me out in the open where I could be frightening like a scarecrow. I was supposed to watch for thieves. Pah. Plus, his wife didn't want me indoors. She said there wasn't room for me. Hag. His wife? Hmm. I was once larger, ten feet tall. Then the loathsome hag complained that I couldn't fit through the doors. So the mage had me shrunk down, shrunk down. Can it believe it? Hmm. And she still wanted me out. How does one shrink a golem anyway? With a chisel and a lot oh. of nerve. Oh shit, okay, fair enough. Well, do you remember anything before going to Honleith? I traveled with the mage. He did a lot of traveling, I remember that. But where we went, it is rather fuzzy. I remember great battles, fighting many humans long ago. They were all very soft and squishy. And before that, I... No, there are only images. I was somewhere dark. Okay. Interesting. Good. I was just about done talking about it. It does like to have a good chat now and again, doesn't it? It sure does, especially when, you know, <laughs> the major plot points coming towards the end of the game are, yes. You talk about anything else, Shale? It speaks. More questions. It doesn't have better things to do. So how did Wilhelm come to acquire you? That part I know, as Wilhelm often bragged about it to whomever was willing to listen to him. He claimed to have found me in the deep roads. I was in the ruins of a tig, he said, deactivated with my control rod not far away. Oh. What was, well, what was Wilhelm doing in the deep roads? It was a hobby of his, scavenging. One of the reasons he traveled so much is that he was looking for entrances into the deep roads, old places the dwarves had long forgotten. And then he would sneak down and search for magical treasure before anyone was the wiser. Wouldn't that have been dangerous? Indeed. He had spells that allowed him to remain hidden and move quickly, but he had no defense against the blight and worried constantly that he would get sick. If any darkspawn showed themselves, he fled. More often, he would have to fight other scavengers, dwarfs who had become tainted. Oh, end, we saw some of those. Him. I mean, he found me there, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you don't know why you were there? I think I remember a battle. It was long before, and then there was darkness. Bah, in short, no, I do not remember why I was there. It makes no difference. Do you know where in the deep roads this was? No, that secretive bastard refused to tell me. I would ask and ask, but no. He used to say that one day, if I were compliant and didn't talk back at his wife, he would take me there and I could look around myself. Rotten, lying bastard. If I had his head in my hands now, I would squeeze it like a giant lemon. Squish. Uh, so if he hadn't found you then? I wouldn't have had to put up with the twit. And I would be none the wiser. I don't think I was aware while I was there. Not like in the village. Or perhaps I was. Perhaps that was the dark place, and I simply couldn't see anything. Ooh. How long could even I sit in the darkness and stare out at nothing, never sleeping? <gasps> oh, I do not wish to think of that. Yeah, I reckon Wilhelm's experiments are probably what gave Shale some of the uh, sentience back, perhaps. On then. All right, some more good chats. What else can we talk about? It speaks. Oh, questions! It doesn't have better things to do. Okay, so you watch that village day and night for years? I do not sleep, so yes. And I thank it for reminding me. <laughs> Try to imagine, if it will, what it would be like to be surrounded by nothing but boring peasants all oblivious to it. It sounds like you were a bit of a voyeur. <laughs> oh, yes. It certainly was the height of intrigue to listen to the accounts of how young Dornan had scandalized the village by his purchase of an Orlesian hat. And the argument that those two muddy farmers had over the price of barley for a whole summer, riveting. And then <laughs> there were the birds. 
A whole village full of pigeons and ravens and sparrows all perching on me day in and day out. <laughs> oh, that sounds a little messy, perhaps? Those foolish villagers would spread bird seed near me, drawing the birds because they thought having birds perch on me was quaint. Quaint! <laughs> if there hadn't been the occasional kind soul to scour me clean, I would... I would... I don't care to discuss this anymore. Oh, disapproves eight. Come on, Shaya, we were making good progress. It speaks. Or questions. It doesn't have better things to do. You don't seem to like humans much. That is true. I do not. I'm not interested in getting into a discussion on the subject, however. Ask another time. If it is done asking overly obvious questions, let us find some humans to throw off a cliff or something. All right, can we talk about something else then? We're nearly it's done with deep. shale. More questions. It doesn't have better things to do. So you're female. I had no idea. I did not think it needed to be said. It has never told me what gender it is, has it? <laughs> yeah, but I'm not made of rock. And if it was, perhaps its gender would have been more obvious. The truth is that whatever gender I was is irrelevant now. I am a golem. I have no gender. It will not become an issue. No, not at all. Good. Let us leave it at that. Now. Let us crush something soft and watch it fountain blood. That is a girlish <laughs> thing to want to do, yes? All right, so we've got Shale up to moderate. Let's go to Soldier's Peak and just get whatever gifts we have left for Shale. We'll grab whatever we have in there for Zephyrin as well. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. Go to Soldier's Peak. Oh, it can get tedious getting through all the companion content sometimes, especially when it's all stacked up. I've tried to spread it out, but um, yeah, we're nearly at the critical uh, part of the plot. We won't be able to do it if we don't do it now. Look out, bear. All right. What else we got in here? Morrigan, something for the dog. Zephran, Zephran. Oh, that's it. Okay. We can get that for the dog. We can get that for Morrigan. Okay then. Well, let's just go camp and see if Shale's got anything else. Otherwise, we might be done. There we go. Full inspiration from Shale. It has occurred to me that I have been... Excuse me. This is not easy. Ooh. It's occurs to me that I have been less than charitable with it since it reanimated me. You have good reasons though, I think. I have come to realize that it has been good to me. Yes, I have. You have been good to me, even though you had no control rod to enforce obedience. I have never had one before, so I, I don't know how to thank you for being, you know, a friend? Exactly so. <laughs> I followed you expecting to find answers to my questions, but I think I have found something better. Oh, he's found friendship. Well, I am honored, Shale. Oh, let us not speak of this awkward bonding moment ever again. To the road. <laughs> oh, Shale, we are friends now. I am listening. Um, you're still with me, I see. Yes, its adventures are interesting, even if the chances for success are remarkably slim. <laughs> it would be better to throw oneself off a cliff, I suspect. Does it wish me to leave? I can, though I see no reason to go. No, 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 no. No stay, you're quite helpful. No doubt. Without me, <laughs> it would have to carry its inventory on its own. <sighs> Perhaps we should continue. Its chances of success are small enough without further dawdling. All right, good talk, Shale. So I think we're fully unlocked with Shale now. We are friends with Shale. <laughs>